Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Sarah Wisted. Today's video is a little shopping try on haul. I've done a little bit of shopping lately and I wanted to share that with you because I found some really good pieces. You guys know I try and focus on versatile, more long-term pieces. I was trying to think if I had anything trendier in here. I don't really have maybe like one or two things that are a little bit trendier, but a lot of these pieces are more like long-term. You can mix and match them with a lot of different pieces that you probably already have in your closet. I first of all have to mention, it is a little gloomy here in Atlanta today, and I almost waited to film this video, but it's actually supposed to rain the next like five days, and I figured if I waited five days, who knows when I'd get around to this, so I'm just throwing up this video, chatting with my friends. You guys know I kind of do this on a whim lately, so if you didn't know, I do have a newborn, so I'm kind of like doing this in between his naps and all that craziness that comes with newborns. Enough with me rambling. The first piece that I wanted to show with you is actually what I'm wearing right here, and it's this really beautiful sweater from L'Academy from Revolve. I've been really into grays lately. I feel like gray is going to be, and has been, I guess, one of the colors of the season, and so I've been doing a lot of tone-on-tone -tone grays. This sweater, I think, is really cool. It also comes in white as well, but I like that the sleeves are a little bit longer and just a little bit more dramatic, if you will. And you guys know that I love sweaters. It is not a surprise at this point to you. But I didn't have a sweater that just had a simple crew neck and this has this like chunky cable knit texture, but it's not like a traditional cable knit. It's more of like a muted cable knit, if that makes sense. It's not like in your face, which I thought was really beautiful. It almost has like a mohair texture. It's, I don't know how to explain it. It's definitely wool, but it like just looks very, I don't want to say rustic, but it's just a little bit shaggy almost, which I think makes sweaters look really beautiful. The next piece are these trousers from Academy as well. Obviously, they're a little big, so I need to visit the tailor sometime soon, but they are so beautiful, and I think they're a really cool shape with this interesting pleat that they have going on in the front. Almost like a wider shape, but it's like a menswear-inspired tailor, and I think it's just kind of a more of a unique take on a tailored pant. These are, like I said, very long. I am 5'1 and a half, so if you're somebody who is taller, these would likely still fit you as well. And another sweater, shocker. <laughs> Um, but I didn't have a sweater in this color that had a crew neck and I'd find myself reaching for one in my closet lately and I didn't have one so I picked this one up from Revolve as well. I thought the sleeve shape again was a little bit cooler. It's a little bit of like a bubble sleeve right here which I think is a really interesting detail to a sweater. It looks almost like, I don't know, 70s? Maybe it's just because I have these pants on too which I'll show you in a second. But. I really liked the texture, the color, and then just the way that it sits. I think it's like a really cool classic but cozy type of look. And this one is a little bit softer than the gray one that I just showed you, but it still is kind of like a textured material, which again, speaks to my heart. I think it's just really beautiful when you can see textures, like there's not just one color in this sweater. You can tell this one is really well made. I think it would be perfect with all of my beigey warm tone pleated pants, but also really cute with like a knit midi skirt. I really loved that when I was pregnant because I couldn't really wear pants obviously when you're pregnant. This sweater just seemed really versatile and I really liked the color of it, so that's why I picked this one up. And then these pants, you guys, they are like super, super wide leg. I think that's kind of like the theme of pants. This season is wide leg, kind of like oversized and a little bit baggier. And these ones I thought were really perfect for that. These ones are from Girlfriend, also off of Revolve. And I love how they're kind of like gathered here at the waist to make them look just like extra baggy. I don't know, I just think that's kind of like a cool, relaxed kind of like vibe lately. Before I take this outfit off, I wanted to show you guys a brown coat that I got off Revolve as well that I think is a really cool shape, so hold on. So this is the coat. I have been obsessed with coats, which is kind of ironic because I don't really, I haven't been leaving the house in this freezing, freezing cold weather in Atlanta. And when I say freezing, it's probably nowhere near what you guys are having to deal with in the north, so take it with a grain of salt. Um, but I've been obsessed with coats, and I wanted to find, I've been really into like the brown, like the very dark chocolate brown color lately, and a really structured coat also. So both of those kind of were 
combined in this coat. I thought it was so beautiful. It looks like a really long blazer, which I think is really, really beautiful and adds a level of sophistication to your outfit that you pair it with. I actually ordered also off Revolve, but it hasn't come in yet, but there's this Norma Kamali dark brown, like chocolate brown turtleneck. So it'd be like a tone on tone type of look. I feel like it's a very like YSL sexy but conservative type of vibe. So anyway, what I'm trying to say is I just thought this was a really beautiful structured, just like sophisticated piece that you could throw on to pretty much any outfit. I have been known to wear like a full sweatsuit underneath and then just throw in kind of like a more sophisticated looking coat over top of that and your look looks very interesting because it's almost like you're not trying too hard but you have your shit together for lack of a better word. But I just think that this is a really beautiful coat and I haven't found one online like this and so of course I had to snag this one. And then the last thing that I ordered from Revolve is this belt from Below the Belt, which I thought was a really good classic looking belt. I think it could look really sophisticated with a pair of white pleated trousers or even like flowy trousers. I just find myself reaching for belts and accessories like this lately and I felt like this one would go with the most. It has a really small buckle here and it is gold. I have been more on a silver kick lately. But I also am not opposed to mixing metals and I thought this being a little bit more understated and not like a bright gold could actually lean towards silver as well. And now for Cezanne. You guys know that I'm a Cezanne lover. I have pretty much half my sweaters at this point are from Cezanne. Their knits on their website and just from the brand in general are such good quality and they all fit so well and I just feel like it's a really good long-term investment piece. So I did pick up this black one. I actually have this in three other colors and so I finally just grabbed the black one because I figured, I mean, black is probably the most classic, right? Yeah, it did not disappoint. It's just a cardigan sweater. It's a little bit thicker of a knit material. I know it's really hard to see black on camera, but it is just a black sweater. But what I like about this shape or this style that they have on their website is, again, the sleeves are a little bit more interesting. They go in a little bit here, which is also great, by the way, if you're somebody who wears sweaters daily and you're constantly like doing household chores or you have to use your hands. Like the, Sometimes when the sleeves are too big, they just get in the way. These ones just kind of like go in at your wrist a little bit so that they're not in the way and they kind of just go with your arm, if that makes sense. So that's a little bit more practical. And then I picked up these pants as well. These are a classic style for Cezanne also and I've been eyeing them for a while and now that I am postpartum, I of course, you know, I'm starting to reinvest in some pants that I can have for this upcoming season. And these were a great option, of course, because you can wear pants like these with literally anything, anywhere, anytime, and they're very comfortable. Like, I can actually see myself wearing these around my house as well, because I do work from home. I do also have a newborn baby, so I've been spending a lot more time in the house. Felt like these are a good option to have on daily use basis. They do have the side zipper versus like a front zipper, which is kind of nice. It just is a little bit more hidden and comfortable. The material is pretty light and flowy, so it kind of feels like you're wearing, I don't want to say they're like pajama pants because they're definitely thicker, more like a trouser pant, but they are very light and flowy and not stiff by any means. As luck would have it, baby boy woke up, so I'm not, be able, I'm not gonna be able to finish filming this today, so I'll refilm this. Hopefully tomorrow, but we'll see when I get around to it. So I might look different, but I'm gonna go take care of him and play with him, and I'll film the second part of this when I find time. Okay, I'm back. And this is a few days later, but this is how I'm getting around to filming this. So this is the next item that I picked up. I actually got this for Christmas, but it's been on my list for so long. This dress is the line by K and I just thought it was a really understated, comfortable, but also kind of elevated dress. And again, it's like the longer sleeves. I feel like the longer sleeves have been having their moment lately. It's not as practical as something that's a little bit shorter, but I just think it looks really, I don't know. I think it looks really cool and just really chic and a little bit different than the regular 
sleeve length. And this one is a little bit cooler because it has a little bit of a different detail like the button that it has on the inside and then the extra long cuff. Yeah, I just think this one's really beautiful. It's a ribbed knit material. It is tighter, but it's thick. So I feel like it smooths everything, which is really nice. And I really like the collar as well. I think this collar keeps it a little bit more casual so you can wear it in a casual setting or you can dress it up and wear it in like a nicer setting. The one like somewhat holds back in case you are curious of any cons of this dress is it's a little hard to walk in. I feel like the tube of it is just a little tight. So it's not terrible to walk in, but if you're someone who wants to be extra comfortable, this may be just a little bit harder to walk in. But yeah, your steps have to be just a little bit smaller than maybe they normally would. But in general, I love this dress. I would buy it again. Okay, following my big into gray lately, um, I got a few basics. This uh, scarf and this little turtleneck, which I'll show you a better view of, is from Zara. So I did pick both of these up from Zara. And I got a jacket too that I'm gonna return because it's too small, but let me just show that to you since that might be helpful. So I ordered this just gray bomber jacket. Nothing special, it's just kind of like a basic to have in your closet. I'm really big on having like the basics, the foundations, like the different color turtlenecks and just stuff that you can layer with, um, even layer with like your more trendier pieces. And so I ordered just this simple gray bomber jacket, but I kind of wished it was a little bit more oversized. And this is a size small, and I am in between a small and extra small. Um, so I guess I could get a bigger one that I just feel like it might like look weird in other areas. So I just was trying not to force it essentially. So I think I'm gonna return this one. But I did order a few layered grays just to, my thought was to go with this coat, but I'm not keeping this. But I do have a lot of other gray stuff, so it's totally fine. Obviously, I can layer it with those grays. But here, let me show you this turtleneck first. I wasn't sure about this turtleneck because it isn't super, like it isn't as form-fitted as other turtlenecks are. But I just wanted to grab something quickly, and Zara like almost always has what I need in a quick basis. And funny enough, I know you're going to say, why would you buy a long-term piece from Zara? I actually keep a lot of my Zara pieces over some of my nicer, more items. And it's just an easier like addition to the closet. I don't overthink things at Zara, if that makes sense. So, and I actually really like this one. I actually like the quality of this one too. It's kind of like thin, but warm. So I think, again, as a layering piece, that's like the perfect layering piece because you don't want it to be too bulky underneath the other items that you're layering it with. And the turtleneck part of it is kind of more of like a relaxed, I, I mean, in my opinion, more sophisticated turtleneck part. So I don't know, I think it looks really nice. You can never have enough layering pieces. And then I just grabbed this gray scarf, which is super cozy. It's almost like a blanket. You can just like throw it over your shoulder like this. Obviously you can wear it like down. It's more of like a shawl type. So if you want to wear it like a shawl, you can do that too. There's just a lot that you can do with it, I feel like. And then I'll give you guys a good view of these jeans because I did get these sent by Citizens and I thought they were a beautiful classic pair. So if you're on the hunt for a pair of dark straight leg jean, this is a great pair. And like I said, these ones are from Citizen and they fit so well and what's the best part about type jeans like this is when you wear them the more you wear them the more they form to your body i think the straight leg of this is really classic won't go out of style kind of reminds me of like a levi's type classic fit okay so then the rest of the stuff that i'm showing you is a few other accessories that i bought to go with different outfits but i do have a few accessories that i wanted to share with you guys that i recently picked up that i love and i just wanted to share in case you were looking for something similar but the first one is this super cozy almost mohair looking oversized chunky scarf from Amazon and I was really shocked by this because I was looking for something like this from Zara in the gray color which I actually prefer this knit one that I just showed you guys but I wanted a brown one and a black one and the brown one did not arrive yet but I do have this black one so um, I figured I'd show you this black one but they do have other colors on their website and they have this beautiful like cocoa chocolate brown on their website which I did order just hasn't arrived yet and it's so warm you guys it's like super super cozy it's hard to see black on camera i feel like 
but it's very extremely soft very very cozy and it has these almost like tassels at the end a little bit longer this is super warm so if you're somebody who lives somewhere very very cold and you are looking for warmth like function over form for that example this is like the perfect combination perfect combination of both function and form because it is super warm and i also think it looks really really nice now it is from amazon so i you know don't I can't really speak to how long this type of material will last. It's just a scarf, so it is what it is at this point. I have to show you guys this. It's not related to this video, but it's just so cute. So Shay is going to be a flower girl in my sister-in-law's wedding in about a month, and we ordered this dress. How freaking adorable is this? I promise I won't keep this long, but I just wanted to share this with you guys because I thought it was so cute. Okay, I had a few more accessories that I wanted to share with you guys. So, you've probably seen these before. <laughs> these Tony Bianco kitten heel mules are just so cute. I feel like they're having a moment right now. I've seen, maybe it's because like I've been wanting them. You know when you start to want something, you start to see it everywhere? I feel like that's like one of those kind of things that's happening right now. But I have been obsessed with these. I've been wanting them for so long and they are finally here. Again, it's another Christmas gift that I got over the holidays. But I almost bought them for myself a few times. I did get the chocolate brown color. Again, it's back on these like color obsessions that I've been going through, which is like the gray and the chocolate brown. But I loved the chocolate brown in these. It's almost like a black, so you can wear it with black also. And these do come in a lot of different colors. So it does come in a black if you're somebody who would wear black more. But they also have like this lighter camel color. I can't remember the other ones that I saw if I'm being honest, but I know they have the brown, black, and camel. And they just have this really beautiful, delicate, girly detail on them. They have these really beautiful like grommet details. Can, yeah, there we go. I was like, I feel like this isn't focusing. And this cute little like dainty bow on the front and the point of it, just like the shape right here is perfect. But yeah, I just think they look very dainty, very feminine, and they just add kind of like a unique touch to an otherwise simple outfit. Um, so yeah, I had to pick these up. The next two are sunglasses. So I want to show you guys these because Vela has, I think, some of the best shaped sunglasses and they are very inexpensive in my opinion for sunglasses. I also have been on this kick of, I hate when I wear my sunglasses and they have scratches on the lenses. It's like, I don't know, I just feel like it looks unpolished and just unkept. I've been in kind of like a loop where I just would throw my sunglasses in my purse without a case. And that would cause, of course, a lot of scratches. And so now I've been like really wanting to find some sunglasses and keep them looking nice and new. So I did get two pairs because I'm hoping to keep these scratch free. These are the first pair. I forget what they're called, but I will link both of these down below. And they're just classic. I feel like I just needed a classic like black pair that was not too oversized. I have kind of a smaller base. I am I'm considered petite. I'm five one and a half if you guys didn't know that. So a lot of sunglasses that I order online tend to overpower my face and I just feel like Vela has not done that. So that's why I kind of keep going back to their sunglasses. And I just thought these were kind of like a cool everyday classic pair that I can just wear with whatever. I don't really need to explain that further to you guys, but I just think it looks, the shape of them are really cool. They're not too big. They're kind of like this straight on the top, which I think looks cool. Just a little bit more angular, and I just feel like it fits my face. It's kind of pretty good, so love these. This next pair is kind of a fun pair. I have another fun pair from Vela, and I just, they're scratched up, so I wanted to get another kind of like fun pair. And I just thought these ones were really, really beautiful. So I picked these up, but they are, um, they do have like a tint to them. So they do kind of help with the sun, but they're a little bit more sheer. So you can obviously still see my eyes, which I think is just a cool look. So if you want something to look a little bit more funky with like kind of a simple outfit, I feel like some sunglasses like these are just a really cool option just to throw on. Last but not least is my purse. This bag I have been, of course, eyeing for so long. It was out of stock for a while and it came back in stock right before Christmas. And I just have been loving this shape, this like origami, oversized, just kind of like a relaxed leather shape, but it's still structured too. And it has like the top handle or you could put it over your shoulder, which is really important for me because I feel like I love a top handle. I think it looks so beautiful, but when I'm trying to carry my kids, for example, 
it's good to have a top handle that I can also like throw over my shoulder. And it's Pauline Paris, so you know it's great quality. Have, I feel like their bags are just very stunning and great quality. I've never personally owned a bag from them before. This is the first one that I have. It's been great. I feel like it's a really beautiful purse. It has this insert that I actually don't use and I probably should use because I have um, little pouches inside of it. I could just use this pouch. I don't know why I'm doing that, but you know, just moving from bag to bag, I guess. But And I do have stuff in here, so ignore that pouches there's this really nice material on the inside it's more of like a suede finish and i don't really know what else to say other than the fact that i think the shape of it is really really beautiful i personally like these out but you can also put them in if you want it to be like a smaller shape the other side as you can see you can carry it like this as well if you want it to be a little bit more condensed but i think the out look looks really beautiful so this is kind of like the shape that i've been loving lately yeah i don't really know what else to say about it other than i just think it's a stunning piece and i really loved the design of this okay that was it that was all of the shopping that i've done lately i feel like all of these pieces per usual are very versatile and can be switched in and out with different items that you probably already have in your closet i don't know i feel like a goal for me is to start investing in long-term pieces i think i said this last year so yeah i'm still hoping to to do that but i want to invest in long-term pieces i want to have a lot of versatile pieces i would like to start re-wearing a lot of the items in my closet the goal is just to continue to build on the foundation that I already have. So if you're along a journey similar to mine where you're hoping to elevate your closet, have lots of versatile pieces, bring in more long-term quality pieces, then hopefully this will be a journey that you would love to follow because I do plan to do more shopping hauls. I would love to do some styling hauls, but that's kind of like fully back burner right now until I find some more time. But it's really fun to share this stuff with you guys. So let me know in the comments below what your favorite item was that I've brought in with this haul. Um, let me know if you guys shop any of these pieces. I feel like it'd be really fun to talk about different ways to style each piece. And as always, this was a fun video to film for you guys. So if you're interested in seeing more, please give this one a thumbs up just so I can see the engagement, like if you liked it or not, if I should continue to do this, that kind of thing. And I hope you guys are having a good start to your new year. And I'm sure I will talk to you guys on my next video.